Yay! <laughs> okay, my nails are kind of a disaster. Today is kind of... Technically, officially, it's the last day of vacation. Tomorrow, officially, technically, it's my first day of school. I don't really have to go. <laughs> it's just an opening ceremony, I'll call it, of the school year and all that. You don't really need to be there. So, I'm not going, especially because I still have some things left to do. Including the fact that tomorrow, uh, that friend of mine is officially coming over to stay here this semester in this bedroom. So I still need to prep some things out, for example, there's still some things from the closet that I need to take out and all that. So yeah. I was supposed to do this video literally two weeks ago almost, <laughs> but yeah, I just left it off until right now. The last time I recorded a challenge, honestly, <laughs> like, yeah, I feel like the last time I recorded a video for this challenge was already a week and a few days ago. So to start this off, in the beginning of this challenge, I wrote a letter to myself when I wrote it, it was supposed to be a month from now. So yeah, it's technically a month and a few weeks. <laughs> so yeah, here we are. I'm going to read this and then I'm going to reflect on it while I paint my nails. <laughs> That's what this whole video is going to be about. So if you have something to do, if you are getting your makeup done or anything like that, let's just pretend we are on a video call, I guess. <laughs> Why not? I've always wanted to do this as a video, so I was like, yeah, why not? Because I wasn't sure how to make this video, so let's just make it simple. So, I hope you were able to finish this challenge. Uh, I kind of did. <laughs> I hope you feel better with yourself and your career. I know you were able to upload regularly. Well, you haven't uploaded from the time I'm recording. Um, in 10 days, I think. <laughs> but I feel like I gained a lot of knowledge, I guess. I'll talk about it later. Like, we both want and hope. You've seen results. I keep thinking, I'll be able to get monetized, I'll be able to make this my whole career, and hope you feel motivated and refreshed, and just good in general. I hope you learn more about yourself during this challenge, and now I have some questions. Did you finish the challenge completely? I know you can do it. I know we are able to do this. <sighs> Did you upload every two days like we wanted, or at least every three days? Haha. <laughs> do you have a plan for videos when school starts, pre-recorded or anything? Do you have any ideas for other challenges? How do you feel mentally and emotionally, ADHD? Remember, we can do it just like anyone else. Every day we are one day closer to success. So yeah, that was my letter to myself. And I'm just going to leave it here on the side. You can't really see it, but it's down here. And just look at it for some markers, I guess. Let me turn this on. Yes, I have one of these things for my nails, okay? So I'm going to turn this on here because I don't have any other place where I can turn this on. I'm just going to paint my nails black and then I'll play around with these two glittery uh, polish that I have. Oh, so, <laughs> uh, I haven't played my nails in a while, so I'm also kind of never saw that. I used to be good at it, now I don't know anymore. Was I able to upload regularly? Um, uh, I mean, sometimes. <laughs> and we made a plan to make that happen. I'm saying we, but technically I, but still. Just, I don't know. That is something that always happens to me. I'm always like, I'm going to upload regularly, I'm going to upload every two days, I'm going to upload every three days. And I just never... Like, I'm just never able to do it. <laughs> She's annoying. But at the same time, I know that lately, for I think the past two years, I could be so wrong here. I feel like the one time when I didn't upload, like I didn't upload basically for a long time, like a month. It was again like two years ago. And if I did, it was only like, I bet it was during August or something like that, you know, throughout the summer. Because that's usually when I get sidetracked a lot. You would think it would be in school, but no, that's actually when I get more focused on YouTube, which, again, it's kind of ironic. 
This nail is just isn't turning out good already. Kind of so I don't know, I'll work on it. <laughs> so yeah, the plan after this, after I'm recording this, is actually go edit so I can actually start uploading regularly because I need to have videos edited. Like I need to have at least three videos edited by tomorrow night. <laughs> at least that. But yeah, I mentioned this in the last vlog, but I'm planning on using Notion to just help me organize all of that and have more of a visual aspect to that besides my planners and all that. And also I got some notebooks that you saw just again to help me out with that. I just feel like I need to have like, I don't know, just a different thousand different places to write it on for me to be able to organize everything. <laughs> Which again can be my ADHD talking, but I don't know, it's just how I work. Did I finish the challenge completely? Um, yes and no. I feel like towards the end of it, I was like so, again, sidetracked. Like, I know it always happens to me in August, but I still try to make this challenge happen. Just not to get as sidetracked, which worked. But then I managed to finish the whole challenge like I found on TikTok. And I was showing to you in the beginning of the vlogs. No, I didn't manage to do it because honestly I can't give up on it because honestly it reached a point where I was like okay there are, I feel like there are other things that will help me more than actually doing these things. The things that I came up with by myself and one of them which that's why I'm saying I kind of completed the challenge was honestly resting because I remember like you know, when we, like a few days ago, we had to choose our classes, which classes are we going to take, at what time, and whatever. And I remember, you know, during that, I started talking to two of my friends that you know, are also my classmates. And I started talking to my boyfriend more about that, or me being like, oh, I haven't employed this, but I have right now these thousand subscribers. Because they asked me about it, those friends of mine, and my boyfriend, you know, just hears me all day long talking about it. And, you know, they asked me how that was going and all that. And I said how that was, and I was like, oh, I have thousand and uh, hundred subscribers, but I still have a lot of watch hours left for me to get monetized and all that stuff. <laughs> and I haven't deployed shorts, which also damages my challenge in that aspect. So I feel like in the beginning of the year, I was most of you know, all that. I just rant about it. And they were like, oh girl, you deserve a break. <laughs> just take it. And I took that into consideration. I was like, okay, let me give like myself a week of rest, which was what I did the previous week. I honestly felt really good. Like, I feel like editing, it just, again, I've talked about this since the beginning of the challenge. It just drains me. I don't know. It feels like, for me, you know, for a lot of people, but also introverted like me, sometimes you'll think, oh, recording is like the worst because like you have to be this really happy self and all of that. First of all, being introverted is not the same as being shy. I get that confused a lot, at least with my being. <laughs> but it was just a lot of like, I, I, I mean, there's just real life and that stuff of like, okay, me recording, like if you make me choose between five hours of recording or five days, no, <laughs> five days of recording or five hours, of editing i choose the five days of recording because it just drains me way less i just find it really fun just to create content and editing honestly it really depends on the day there are days i'm like yes i'm gonna get this done and i get like 10 videos done no joke there's been a day where i got like 10 videos done <laughs> when i did reaction videos and there have been days with the vlogs that i get like five videos like two videos pre-edited and three fully edited you when you mean by pre, I mean like one I got half edited and the other one I got at least all planned out. <sighs> and yeah, I just get those days that I'm really motivated and there are days that I do nothing. <laughs> do you have a plan for videos when school starts? Girl, <laughs> past self. I have videos planned until November, okay? I have so many videos planned, it's actually kind of ridiculous. I'm 
eventually I'm going to drag my boyfriend into one or two videos. I was supposed to do that this summer, <laughs> but again, got sidetracked. And he's still really like, oh, but I don't speak English as well as you do, and all that, so... <laughs> I don't know, eventually I'll make him join me. There is a video, like, there's quite some videos that I'm particularly excited about. And there's one where I plan on speaking more of my experience of learning languages because I see like that's a topic really, I'll say trendy, it's not trending, it's trendy on YouTube because I feel like for the past few years that's just something that a lot of people have been getting into and someone who is again studying languages, you know, in this case translation I feel like, you know, I could have some good insight on it <laughs> and obviously I won't have like the same insight I guess as a lot of people do because I see mainly people talking about learning curry and learning Japanese, it's always like Asian uh, languages whereas for me I would like, I would really like to learn, you know, Korean or Japanese or Chinese. Chinese, no, I don't, I don't want to risk myself learning Mandarin. <laughs> but, um, you know, learning an Asian language, why not? But I won't risk doing it because I just know it will take a toll on my brain. <laughs> Guys, I don't know why, but like every single time that I paint my nails, the one that always turns out the best is usually like the point finger usually it's always on the right even though like the right finger even though i'm a righty not a lefty <laughs> i don't know why and also i don't know why but like a lot of people seem to have really a lot of difficulties with painting your right hand you know basically like you write with one hand and Every time that you have to paint the nails on that hand, everyone seems to be like, oh, I can't do it, I'm so messy. For me, it's like a walk in the park. For me, it's normal, but it may be because I do it from such a young age. I started painting my nails when I was like seven, eight years old. You know, I wasn't like a girly girly in questions of like, you know, want to steal my mom's makeup. No, I wanted to steal her nail polish. <laughs> So yeah, a lot of girls got good at doing makeup, some didn't. I got good at painting nails. Just I'll call myself at least decent at it, but anyways. The video question, I have those language videos. I also have a Notion video that I want to do, which by the time that you're watching this, I hope that you're watching this, you know, at least in the middle of September, <laughs> like a week or two from now for me. But I'm hoping the Notion video comes out like a week from, like, you're watching this a week from now it will come out. Maybe in a few days, I don't know, depends if you're watching this on a Thursday or a Sunday. I mean, somewhere around that. I'm still considering if I do Vlogmas or not. Like, I probably not upload every single day, but I still don't know if I'm able to do it or not because I, again, this challenge is just like, I know what I did wrong. But the thing is, like, if I could change something about this challenge, it will be recording, like, a week or two ahead. I won't be able to do that with uh, Vlogness. I guess I'll have to test run how I do it while I'm at school in the first semester. In this case, in this case first trimester. So, I don't know. We'll see. But even if I do it, I won't be uploading every single day. Like, max like a day on day off of videos eventually i like to upload videos every single day on my channel and all that on my channel but um, i don't know technically i'm getting my hands a bit dirty <laughs> this one isn't dry i'm getting my hands a bit dirty but i think they're turning out kind of decent don't you think you can't really see this isn't focusing but you know what i mean i swear guys if you're ever doubting yourself of getting one of those things or not, get them. I used to doubt myself a lot too, but honestly they're a lifesaver. <laughs> I used like a spray, which did dry my hands like really fast, which you know was it was what it was supposed to do. I'm mixing up words, <laughs> and I had I still I think I still have a few there. Um, of nail polish that dries up in 30 seconds 
and it dries up really fast. I want to say 30 seconds, but it dries up really fast. But honestly, that thing, oh my freaking god, is really a lifesaver. <laughs> it's so much of a lifesaver. Okay, so do I have anything pre recorded or not? Technically, yes. Everything that you're seeing, I think for the past, uh, for you again, it's going to be like a week or two. But I think, like, again, as I said, until November, probably everything that you're going to see is going to be pre recorded. Now I can open this. I should have opened this before I dried up my nails. Uh, I should have opened this before I painted them. <laughs> I'm going to go ask my boyfriend, I guess, to open this. I can never open this. Wait a minute. I'm the only one that gets this. Like, I know my nails are dried, but I still, like, I'm like, you know, trying to be careful. I don't know. I just always do that. Okay. I'm going to play with these, but not too much. I'm going to paint, like, two nails of each finger with these. So pretty. <laughs> you like... It makes it a little bit sparkly. You can see. I don't know if you can see. It's a bit sparkly, it's cute. <sighs> okay. Do you have any ideas for our challenges? Yes! Okay, so today I had an appointment, a doctor's appointment. And it's because of my injuries. And I'm at a point right now where I'm just like going to physiotherapy for maintenance. And what I should invest in right now is actually going to the gym, which I need to sign up for eventually. <laughs> but right now, and again, I talk to my doctor about this because <laughs> you know she's taking care of me. She's trying to get me, you know, away from the pain and all that. <laughs> and I told her like, okay, I really want to go back to the gym. I already have a gym in mind and all that. But right now, I'm doing hair laser removal. I can't, you know, I can't be playing for two things monthly for between two subscriptions at the time, once in time I'm playing, you know, I'm going to have a bunch of appointments coming up which are also expensive, even though, you know, the state, like, the state knowing, <laughs> the country, the same, I don't know. Basically, I'll get half of the money back, but, you know, I still have to pay upfront everything because, you know, I have, like, the insurance covers it, but for my case in specific, they are... <sighs> if you are Portuguese, Alessia, yeah. <laughs> which is basically the insurance of people that work for the government, which I have it because my mother is a teacher, and basically like there are some places where they don't have that on their plans, it doesn't, you know, cover their service, but if I have the receipt and send it to them, they cover half of it sometimes. Sometimes it's a bit less than half, but you know, I get a portion of it at least back. But still, I have to pay up front and I'll get that money eventually back and all that, but with that, with hair removal, with university, you know, it just, I won't get myself into a gym at least for another month or two. So, that's what we plan. Okay, I'll go back there in two months, in November. I'm going to do some blood analysis as well to check my vitamin D, which apparently have a huge amount that should be there, but it isn't there. I think right now I sorted out, but yeah, I just... <laughs> but yeah, I talked to her about that and I want to do a challenge, you know, me really going to the gym. I want to do a challenge more related to fitness in general. I also want to do maybe something related to cooking. But if I did that, again, I'll have to drag my boyfriend, which is something that we decided that we would do this year. It's like a goal of ours for this, I don't know, this coming up school year is like, again, if you are a college student you understand if you've ever been a college student you understand sometimes you don't have the time or the energy to do anything fancy for dinner okay so we just try to make like things really quick and that ends up as always eating the same stuff which is not healthy because a lot of it is pre-made you know we just want to learn new recipes which are also quick tiktok has helped out a lot in that aspect but 
yeah, that's a goal of ours. And again, I want to do a series about it maybe, but I'm not sure because again, I will want to drag my boyfriend into it because it's something that I'm doing with him. I don't know. There was someone <laughs> in the comments a few days ago saying, oh, you should start a game show on your challenge uh, on your channel. Why am I confusing challenge and channel? I don't know. But <laughs> I could do that. But since I'm like, with who? Most of my friends, like, I'm the one that is most fluent in English, basically. And if I'm not the most, I'm like tied up with two other of my friends. But those two are like the most introverted ones, the ones that will automatically say, no way I'm being in a video of yours. So I'm like, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> so I don't know, that will be fun, but I'm not sure. I guess like in the future, if I have more subscribers, honestly, I'll like to do something with you guys. But I'm not sure, comment down, down below, okay? Honestly, I would really want to do something with you, but I'm not sure what. Okay, do you feel mentally and emotionally... Uh, how do you feel mentally and emotionally? Uh, and ADHD. The ADHD thing, I feel like I got a lot more aware this summer about my symptoms about what it is even more and all that i just got really aware basically that's what i have to say about the adhd part just not you know to drag the subject even more emotionally and mentally i feel i'm gonna say sometimes it depends on the day but i feel like for the past like two weeks three weeks like that time that i took off you know of always being editing you know always being work 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 I feel like in that aspect it helped me out a lot because I'm just in a point where lately there have been some things that have come up where if it was like even just a week before maybe I would be so mad about it like not mad in question of being angry or anything like that sometimes it will be sometimes it won't <laughs> but sometimes it will be mad in question of like you know just being like a ton of anxiety in me and all that lately I've been like okay I'm good. This is not really my problem. And this is something that will be sorted out in this amount of time, you know? Kind of like that mindset of like, no, I'm going to control what I can control. Because that's the sentence that I feel like we hear every single place on the internet. We hear that everywhere. Of being like, control what you can control, don't control what you can't, you know, that type of sentence. We hear that everywhere, but honestly, I feel like only now I'm like actually doing it, you know, I'm like, no, I, I can do this, no, like, I, I can do this. Because there are so many things in my personal life where I'm always like, you know, people tell me stuff, way too much stuff that I shouldn't have been told, and they're like you solve the problem you know they put that responsibility on me and i'm like are you like yeah i used to be like okay 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 yes um you know just assume that you know that was basically me most of my life <laughs> but again maybe again in another video maybe i'll talk about it but not right now in the future uh but now i'm like are you kidding me that's not my problem that's yours you know i'm just like shutting that off and I'm like look you want me to sort this problem out but it's your problem and from what I know from the past you're going to cause another problem from this problem that I just solved and you're also going to cause a problem by me solving it and since I'm not solving it you know I basically no way out there'll be another problem either way and that will always will be happening all the time in my life which <laughs> I don't know if it explains kind of like the not so rarely uploads since the beginning of my challenge uh my channel what the heck am i is it happening but yeah that's basically what happened i feel like so much anxiety in me so many things in my head in that aspect and right now i'm just like screw it <laughs> you know i'm like i have my life i'm going to control my life i won't be stuck in my life into yours okay <laughs> I don't know if that helps you guys. I really like having these types of conversations. 
But yeah, I guess I think my nails are basically dried up. I need to clean them up. I don't, by the way, a tip if you do your nails at home, because honestly, I don't see anyone doing their nails at home anymore. So I'm just saying this in case if you're like, oh, I'm going to mess my nails up. No, 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 no. Guys, before I finish this up, I just want to say this. If you have like nail polish, you know, stuck in the sides, like here, I, you can see it isn't really focusing, but I think you can see it. it's a bit of nail polish there. Just get like, I, I forgot what they're called, like those sticks with cotton that you get for your ears or just a bit of cotton, you know, just a tiny bit and just take it off on the side with the um, uh, nail polish remover. That's it. Like just get something, like usually I use a bit of a stick. Sometimes I use like, I have some pencils for my nails to do drawing sometimes. Sometimes I use like the point like of that with cotton. Sometimes I use the ear things that I just told you and take them out. It's that easy. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to notifications. Don't forget to follow me on social media and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.